Hello, my name is Salem Asli, and I'm a professor of Boxe Française Sabat. Welcome to my video series about the French food fighting. I feel that my tap are going to greatly improve your martial arts abilities. More you're going to practice it, and more you're going to enjoy it. Work hard every day, and I wish you the best luck. Thank you. Savat, intermediate offensive kicking and fighting techniques. Cross, jab, fouetté front leg. Cross, jab, fouetté with the front leg. Sideways, cross, jab, weight on the rear leg, bend the leg, fouetté with the point of the shoe in the low line. For the cross, weight on the front leg, then transfer of the charge for the jab on the rear leg in order to chamber and deliver a low fouetté with the front leg with the point of the shoe or at the instep of the shoe to your opponent's leg. Again, when I cross, I cover the face with the jab. Cross, jab, fouetté front leg. Every time you jab or you cross, the other hand must cover the face. On a side way, you're going to notice again that before striking the low line, I bring my knee up, showing my partner that I may strike in high line but finally here in this combination I'm going to strike low line so you can strike with the point of the shoe or the instep of the shoe and you bend the support leg as it's a low line kick cross again jab bend the leg Rearm again and go back to your stance. Cross, jab, well cover, low fouetté. With the partner slowly, cross to the face, jab to the face, low line to the inside of the leg. Here my partner is showing the jab and the cross. I'm showing the cross and the jab. This combination can be jab cross or cross jab. You see how far I lead back? and striking and being away of my opponent's hands. Here I demonstrating the same combination on a place. still on the place and the same combination with a little step on the side here combination jab cross followed by fouetté with the rear leg so you notice the step on the side to add more power on my round kick Jab, cross, 
footy on the place. Jab, cross, footy. Little step on the side. Slow motion, jab, I'm facing you. I'm stepping on the side while delivering the cross. Knee, up, bend the leg, striking with the shoe, chamber again, go back to my position. Again, as it's a low line kick, I bind my support leg. Jab, step on the side, cross to the face again, hands up, chamber, wrong kick to the leg, chamber again, and get back to my position. So you can do it same time as me. Jab, cross, low fouetté. Here you see I did a little jump. So the variation are on a place, step on a side, or jump. Jab, cross to the face, cover my face with the other glove, knee up. Low foot here with the point of the shoe, reach chamber on my kick, go back to my position. Jab, cross, little jump, low fouetté to my opponent's leg. With partner, jab, cross to the face, fouetté outside of the leg with the point of the shoe at the instep of the shoe. So to have a correct distance, I may have to lead back by doing what I call a jump, a, a saw. So my fouetté become a fouetté sauté. Here is a step on side. Chamber. Wrong kick with the shoe. Chamber again and get back to my position. If I find myself too close to my opponent, I will have to do a little jump on the backwards in order to get in a kicking range. As you see, I was too close, so I had to jump to be able to fully extend my, my leg in order to strike with the shoe. And I opened the hip to add more power in my footy. Here a coup de pied bas, step on side, followed by fouetté to the face. Coup de pied bas inside of the shoe, step on the side, fouetté to the face of the solar plexus with the point of the shoe. Side view, you do it same time as me. Coup de pied bas, step on side, fouetté to the face of solar plexus. One, two. Coup de pied bas. Straight leg. Extend the foot. Use the inside edge of the shoe. Step on the side. Chamber. Point of the shoe to the face or solar plexus. Rechamber. 
and get back to your position hands up Remember the coup de pied bas above the ankle and below the knee. Any coup de pied bas above the knee are incorrect. So here before dropping the leg after the coup de pied bas, you must reach the floor with a step on the side without dropping your foot to the floor. Deliver the coup de pied bas and step on the side before coming back to your stance and then chamber and deliver the foot median or to the face. Coup de pied bas, step on side, chamber, round kick. Side view. You see, for the coup de pied bas, you have to drag the, flo the shoe on the floor before striking. Here is the correct way to deliver the combination coup de pied bas, fouetté. Again, notice my foot, rear foot dragging the floor before striking. My knee facing the target. And spinning on my support leg before deliver the round kick. The key could be to the solar plexus or to the face. Raise the leg against the coup de pied bas. Parade in opposition or in protection for the fouetté. So you can very well hear, doing same time as me, while doing me in slow motion. A perfect step on the side here, with a well chamber run kick. Perfect counter against the coup de pied bas, and correct parry for the round kick. If you do the correct the coup de pied bas correctly, you must be able by reaching by fully extend your kicking leg, touching your support legs, your opponent support leg. Next combination, chassé with the front leg, followed by low fouetté, double low fouetté with the rear leg. Medium chassé, step on side, double low fouetté with the rear leg. One more time, knee up, striking with the heel, step on the side, double low fouetté with the point of the shoe or instep of the shoe to your opponent's leg. Here with the partner. Striking with the heel inside of your opponent's guard 
and run kick with the point of the shoe to your supernose leg or with the instep of your shoe. Chassé, step on side. You see how I jump to get my distance perfectly? Parade bloqué with the forearms. And then for turning, you catch the kicks into your legs. Chassé. Notice the little jump. Very important here. Here's the chassé. Low chassé typically savat. I'm going to lose my balance and catch it back while deliver the low chassé and double and one jab or double jab. I voluntarily lose my balance and catch it back while striking the chassé bar and then I deliver the jab. So you strike low and you strike high, high, high. You strike low and you punch high, slow motion. Chamber, facing your partner, inspecting the high kick, striking the leg. Followed by jab. In reality, if doing properly, the low chassé to the leg will make your part, your opponent move, leading forward, presenting yourself his head, giving you opportunity to deliver a jab. Here, jump low chassé, same thing, followed by jab. Here we're gonna move more sophisticated now. This is a low chassé, sauté while jumping followed by jab. You notice how I reach my opponent by losing my balance, catch it back to get it into my hands range. Chassé medium front leg, followed by spinning low chassé with the rear leg. Again, on the side view, front chassé with the heel, support leg straight, followed by low spinning chassé with the rear leg, and I bend the support leg. So we are going, as you can see, slowly into more and more sophisticated combinations. Correct. Raise the knee up, chassé with the heel to the body, landing on the side, forward, knee up again, looking up, and striking low, away from the hands, bend the support leg. As you can see, my partner knee up, chassé, medium, leaning forward, perfect distance for kicks, and low chassé to the knee. Watching first, very important. Knee up, striking, bring the knee up again. The first chassis can be a fake also. 
you can raise your knee up faking that you're going to deliver a low medium chassis and follow low line next one jab cross frontal reverse kick with the rear leg jab to the face cross to the face frontal reverse kick with the rear leg to the face against jab cross frontal reverse kick with the partner jab catch cross parry escape against the reverse kick for this reverse kick the hips must face your opponent and you strike with the outside edge of the shoe slow motion jab push on the front leg cross weight transfer on the front leg this time frontal reverse kick with the edge you go for the face don't try to go higher you try to reach the face and the partner is going to escape or block the kick with the glove in protection catch parry rear leg frontal reverse kick correct with a complete extension of the leg and the shoe catch parry and escape one more time The frontal reverse kick is a good kick to try to make your opponent drop his hands in order to try to deliver a fouetté with the point of the shoe then. Next combination, frontal reverse kick with the front leg, step on the back, fouetté with the rear leg. frontal reverse kick, foot medium with the rear leg, high line, medium line, slowly, push, frontal reverse kick, step on side, foot medium with the point of the shoe, with the rear leg, with the partner, one, two, Escape, parade in opposition. So, that, as I was saying previously, the frontal reverse kick is good technique to try to drop your opponent's hand and follow right away with a fouetté to the face with the point of the shoe. Here we step on the side and we use the other leg, striking with the point of the shoe to the rib cage of the kidneys. One, two. So you see, sometimes you have to twist the body in order to try to catch the point of the shoe with your hand. If you don't twist the body, you're going to parry with your ribs, which is not what we want. Correct. Good parry. Always try to avoid the kick to the face. If you can just escape, avoid by doing evasion. Always. This combination two kicks, same leg, lateral reverse kick spinning medium, followed by chassis medium with the same leg flat part of the shoe heel
we're going to slap the rib cage or the stomach of the opponent and follow with the chassis medium with the heel with the same leg. At all time here, my support leg is straight. For the first kick, support leg straight, striking leg straight, for the chassis chamber. So the kick can be medium or high. And for the less flexible among us, the same combination can be done. Like for example here, we can start the kick medium, and you can do it either way low line, medium or high according to your level of flexibility. So watching first, striking, flat part of the shoe, and heel. Pair with the arm. You have to reach your opponent, you shuffle forward, chamber again, while deliver the chassis. So as you see sometimes, you, have, you, can, you can deliver the chassis on a place, Or you have to shuffle like right here in order to get some power and to reach your opponent. Step on the side, low chassis, fouetté same leg. Again, step on the side, low chassis, bend the leg, chamber, fouetté with the point of the shoe with the same leg. Here's the interesting point of this combination is a step on the side before striking. So the step on the side gives you the opportunity to strike on the side of the knee for the street or the tie for the indoor. Heel, point of the shoe. Heel, point of the shoe. Knee up, heel, point of the shoe. So the level for the foot can be low, medium, or high. I will let you free to walk in the three lines. Medium, it could be high as you can see, or low line. Jab, cross, low chassis frontal with the rear leg. Jab, cross, low frontal chassis with the rear leg. A very damaging kicks for the leg, for the knee especially. So for training with a partner, for the club, you always try to kick the tie and not the knee, only for the street. Again, for this combination to deliver the frontal chassis, you always chamber your knee up in order to make your opponent believe that you're going to strike with the shoe in a high line and then you kick low
So as you practice same time as hers, jab, cross, chassé frontal with the rear leg. For the chassé frontal, you want to use the heel more than, the, more than your toe. Cross, jab, frontal chassis median with the rear leg. Cross, jab, chassis frontal median with the rear leg. See the motion? Slowly. Cross, jab, chassé frontal médian. Catch parry, parade in protection with the elbows or the forearms. Hands range, cross. Jab, get your distance back. Knee up. Striking with the heel to the stomach or the solar plexus. And go back to your position. Cross, jab. You see how to get your distance here? Good kick range. Our next combination, chassis frontal front leg, followed by foot median with the other leg after a step on the side. Chassis frontal, step on the side, foot median with the other leg. Here, step on the side, point of the shoe median. The partner, front chassé, step on the side, fouetted to the rib cage or the lever. The step on the side is very important in order to try to reach the inside of the guard. So he has to twist. If he doesn't want to get kicked inside of, of the guard, he has to switch the body a little bit. Step on side, parade in opposition. So you see the knee up is very important. Front chassé médian, chassé croisé, Chassé médian rear leg, step forward, chassé croisé médian. Front chassé, cross chassé, médian. Slowly, front chassé, step forward, cross médium chassé, with the same leg. As your first kick is going to push away your, part, your opponent, 
No, no, reach him with the cross chassis. This is the purpose of a cross chassis. is to reach an opponent who have been pushing away by one of your kids. Slowly, as you're gonna see, knee up. I'm gonna push away my opponent. I step forward, cross, rear leg behind the front leg, chamber my chassis, full extension of my chassis, re chamber, and get back to my position. Correct front chassis, cross, jumping cross even, followed by a perfect chassis medium. Front chassis, cross, chassis medium. As you can see, girls can have as much power as men sometimes while practicing and have gracefulness at the same time. Again, knee up, front chassis, jumping cross, chassis. One more time. This is a very interesting combination. Jab, hook, step inside, frontal reverse kick, spinning. Again, a jab, hook, spinning, frontal reverse kick. Jab, hook, frontal, spinning, reverse kick. Notice at the same time as I hook, I step inside. One, two, three. Catch, cover, escape. Catch, cover, escape. So notice my front leg, as I jab, I land forward to get more power on my hook, but same time I am moving my front leg to the side to get a good distance for a perfect frontal reverse kick to the face. While he's busy to take care of my hook, I'm moving my, leg, my, my front leg to the side to get a better range. Good. Jab. Hook. A little bit different here. A long hook. As you see here, instead of moving the, fo the front leg this time, I moved my rear leg. Another variation.
Low reverse kick, jab to the face, cross to the body. Low reverse kick for the rear leg, flat part of the shoe, land forward, jab to the face, cross to the body. Chamber knee up, jab cross, land forward. Slowly, present your hip, knee up, slap the leg with the flat part of the shoe, followed by jab cross. Catch and deflect with the elbow. Slow motion. Present the hip from this position. It just doesn't know yet what I'm going to do. Could be a round kick, side kick, a reverse kick. Knee up, flat part of the shoe, slap the leg or the knee, land forward, jab to the face, and cross to the body. Here can be followed with the hook with the front hand. Low reverse kick, jab to the face, hook to the body. As I kick low, I'm striking high with my hands. The Salvatore tried to it different angle, different light as much as possible. Low, high, mid jump, high, low. This is going to be the more advanced combinations. Here, cross to the face, low hook to the body, fouetté with the front leg in low line. Cross to the face, hook to the body, step on side, low fouetté with the front leg. Here you take advantage of the step on side while deliver the hook to the body to deliver your fouetté in low line. Cross to the face, hook to the body, step on side, get your distance and fouetté with the shoe. It doesn't seem like but it's like eating with a hammer here. Cross to the face, you step on side, low hook to the body, notice my rear leg, get distance, bend the leg for proper distance, and striking low fouetté with the point of the shoe inside of the leg. You catch, protection with the rear hand, and low fouetté to the leg. So for training again, we receive the kick, we control, which is touch. Next one, cross, jumping low chassis with the rear leg. Cross, jumping low chassis with the rear leg. Again, I jump high and I strike low. Notice my knee up in order to have a better piston motion.
cross to the face, transfer of the weight on my front leg, knee up, full extension of the striking leg and hit with the heel to the, your opponent's leg. Again slow motion, cross, go back to my position, chamber my chassis while jumping, full extension, rearm, get back to my position. And even that I jump while striking my support leg is bent. Correct? Slow motion, cross to the face, knee up, landing, bend the support leg, strike with the heel to the tie. One more time. Here's the chassis right to the perfect target. If really striking, a chassis to the, with a heel to your leg like this will make you unable to work correctly for two or three days. If it's not breaking the knee, on the next one, coup de pied bas, fouetter, sauter with the front leg. Coup de pied bas. One more time, coup de pied bas, fouetter to the face while jumping. Coup de pied bas, fouetter to the face. Side view. Coup de pied bas, fouetter to the face. Okay, in motion with the partner. Could be by inside of the inside edge of your shoe to your opponent's leg, followed by footy with the point of the shoe to the face. Part blocky with the glove. Or oh, part in opposition. Here my coup pied bas is more like a fake, using to as a diversion, making my opponent thinking that I'm going to strike low line. But it's for me a better momentum to chamber for a run kick to the point with the point of the shoe to the face to give me the energy to jump high. and use the point of the shoe to the face. Again, this technique, the footy can be the high line, medium or low. Next one, footy medium with the rear leg, chassis medium to the face with the same leg. Fouetter médian, chasser médian, with the same leg. On 
on a place or with a shuffle here with a shuffle slow motion all fashion stands presentation of the hip the knee facing the target point of the shoe to the stomach or the solar plexus knee up shuffle and striking with the heel chassis medium or high same leg get back to your stance New form, both hands in protection, foot immediate, followed by chest immediate, same leg. For this combination, the support leg gets straight at all time. Side view, notice my support leg, and get back to your stance. With the partner, fouetté to the face, chasse et médian. In action, fouetté to the face, chasse et médian. So we always get a perfect distance to avoid to after giving a chasse to land with the leg forward, giving the the opportunity to your opponent to strike your hand leg. That's why when you use the rear leg, go back to your stance, to your rear, rear stance, with the same leg behind. Here, low line, chasse médian. I go back to my initial stance. High fouetté, followed by medium chassé, low fouetté, medium fouetté, medium chassé. Notice that the rear hand head for the counterbalance, especially when ju while jumping. This concludes our tape on intermediate offensive fighting techniques, and now you should be ready for some combination more advanced. And I look forward to train you on my next Sabbath tapes. Mm -hmm.